being an interrogation. Uh, we had last week a Democratic member say, I have a lot of questioning, but I have to say that after being here for 11 years, I hate it when witnesses are attacked. It bothers me, particularly when they are trying to do the best they can in the words of Thurgood Marshall with what they have. Well, with what you have, you have a lot. You have created an extraordinary business. You have given to charities, and you have shown an interest in politics in, frankly, a very naive way because you just wanted to help. And um, I don't care what the press thinks about what I'm going to say or anybody else. I just want to say to you, you are a remarkable person, and you have been attacked and attacked and attacked. What is surprising is that you had to answer questions under interrogation for nine hours. And this is it. This is it. All that we've come up with is a meeting shouldn't have happened. And maybe, she said, how can I help our candidates? That's it. There has got to be a point where this hearing is ending. And if anything, owe her an apology for what you put her through. I yield back. Well, do you wish the meeting never happened? <laughs> After the amount of time we spent on it, clearly. Of course. You know, but I, you know, I don't think you need to rip your clothes and cry and say, I have sinned, I have sinned, I have <clears throat> sinned. You know what? I just want to thank you for your service. I hope it doesn't discourage other people like you to get into this. And I will say this to you. I find it, and this is my own view, but I find it when an African American happens to be a Republican, somehow she is treated differently by Congress. Gentlemen's time has expired.